Hi everyone, this is Hannah with Dana Girls Designs and it has been a long time since I have done a video. I think it's been a couple of months at least. Um, <clears throat> just busy with everything that's been going on and then of course with the holidays, um, you know, you tend to get busy with um, um, you know, holiday related things, work and kids and um, so I started on this book. This is a junk journal. I started on it, well, I probably started on it two or three months ago to be honest, but I would just kind of, it was just kind of touch and go a little bit here, a little bit there, but I wanted to do a video. Um, I'm hoping that by doing a video showing you the process um, or the progress so far that that will kind of nudge me to finish it. Um, it's sometimes it's um, it's easy to get caught up in other things and then um, you know just running the whole aspects of the business, um, you know handling customer service, sales, and everything. So I don't always have a lot of time for the creative side of things of making things. Um, but I do want to try to make more time for that because I I do I do love to to make things. I think every crafter does. They want to have time to you know to make their stuff. So I'm going to just kind of show you an overview of what I have done so far. Uh, it's not put together yet. Um, this is a junk journal. Um, let me see what it measures. I want to say like five by eight. Let's see. Um, let's see here. Um, it's rough. Well, by the time you all the papers pooch out, it's going to end up being almost six inches wide because the papers just stick out. <clears throat> and then the height is eight and a half and it's eight and a half not counting the little frilly lace at the bottom so it started out five um, five by eight but it because these papers pooch out well it's closer to six <clears throat> but um so i first got inspired to want to do something with um, the prima marketing paper misty rose that came out in the summer um, as you know, I do sell Prima products, Finabare products. I do sell a lot of scrapbooking supplies. Um, <clears throat> but I kept aside a little bit of the paper um, to make this book with. It's gorgeous paper, and I love it. Um, so as you can see, now this is not, I printed this off of Pinterest. Um, but the paper in the background here, this is from the Misty Rose set. Um, <clears throat> and... <clears throat> it's kind of all over the place, I'll admit, but uh, we'll just kind of go through it together here. But it is gorgeous paper. I just love it. <clears throat> and uh, I just kind of have highlights of it throughout. And then as I add some more embellishments, you know, or, you know, tickets or different things, those will be cutouts from the paper just to give it some little pops of color. Uh, but I'm trying to keep more of your tans, your creams, light pinks, um, kind of more of a shabby chic. Um, so now this is not glued down. I'm still trying to figure out how to place this. Um, but I took a doily, a crochet doily that I actually bought at Michael's. I saw them, um, I guess it was like, they have their dollar, two dollar bins. And this was a dollar fifty, and I thought, oh well, that is nice. So I took it and I actually stained it. Um, I watered down some walnut stain, some Tim Holtz walnut stain, and just sprayed it. Um, and I did it on both sides and dried it. And um, so I glued that down, um, and then I have a little bit of just some white ruffle lace that I glued down just to add a little extra something and um, and I, I sewed I mean I sewed this together but then I glued everything down using um, Aileen's tacky glue I really like it 
um, on these junk journals I do not use score tape um, because over time the score tape is going to lose its stickiness the adhesive is just going to it, it's not going to be sticky anymore so I want to make books that will last you know forever as long as a book can last <laughs> so I use a wet glue <clears throat> to make everything stick so um, and I've taken here this is oh I want to say like maybe three yards of a seam binding that I dyed and then I crinkled and basically what I do to crinkle it I dye it and while it's still wet I just kind of roll it up in a little ball and uh, close it with a paper clip and it just leaves it kind of crinkly like so I like that so this is plenty of um, you know of ribbon here in case you just kind of wanted to wrap it around um, and then tie it or however you want it to do that and um, then also I had um, this here um, this is going to serve as like a bookmark like a place in the book um, you know maybe wherever you left off writing or if there's a place in the book you want to keep it at um, you know you just put it in here and it's it's so pretty I love it and then it'll just kind of hang out the bottom too a little bit from inside um, you know let's see kind of put it in there just kind of got ribbon and lace going all over the place see I just I love how that turned out um, now I have not figured out completely what I've so far I took this printed it out I kind of changed up the coloring a little bit because it was brighter I wanted to tone it down um, so I tinted it printed it out sewed it on this um, lace here and I think what I'm going to do is add uh, this cheesecloth to the back and just kind of maybe fold that over also I had glued a little bit of this and I think what I'm going to do just to add a difference in color between the lace and the cheesecloth I'm just kind of do something like that just to add a little a little depth and I think I'm even going to put behind it some corrugated cardboard just to add a little rustic texture to the back haven't completely decided on that yet so I'm just kind of leaving it as it is for right now until I can figure out what to do so usually that's kind of the hardest part for me is you know coming up with how I want it to look and then you know deciding on something so alright so we're gonna open this up now again it's not completed Okay, this is another page from the uh, the Misty Rose uh, paper collection by Prima, and um, so I just had glued that down. I took this, I glued Manila folder in the middle, and then this um, after it, and then also along the spine on each side um, is some Tyvek um, that kind of like cloth. Um, envelope kind of material um, it's um, like your priority mail uh, gets sent in that kind of cloth like well that's Tyvek and it helps so over time when you're constantly opening and closing the book that it's not going to wear away it's very durable um, so it won't weaken the spine um, this is what I've gotten so far um, nothing's really set in stone I'm just as I kind of get some ideas I just kind of roll with it and put it together because like I said I don't have a ton of time um, you know to just sit and work on this I wish I did I love to do this stuff but it is so hard to find the time um, you know to just sit and make a day to just dedicate to it um, but I do try to make some time in the evenings um, or early mornings to kind of work on some of it. Um, so, and this here, you know, I put it in here and I don't really even know where it's going to go. <laughs> but, but um, 
here's some lace and this is actually some fabric tape I'm going to peel that backing off and then I've got just a little crochet uh, lace here and I was just going to sew it all together I guess on some kind of paper I don't know if I was maybe going to do this and sew it or or if I'm going to glue it here as kind of like a little tuck spot um, you know I cannot remember actually um, but then this page um, and the pages in here like this page I think this was this was tea stain I've got a lot of tea stained paper I have a lot of coffee stained paper and what I like to do I love to stamp um, so I took a lot of stamps and um, this is a Prima stamp this is a Prima stamp this is a Hobby Lobby stamp to add some lines. I kind of made it distressed. You can journal. You can do whatever you want to with it. This, I white embossed it. I think I was off the screen there. Sorry about that. <laughs> this, I white embossed. This, I stamped. Um, I took... I think it was just one stamp, actually. The Menagerie... Uh, Prima Menagerie stamp. I think I just did that one stamp and just kind of stamped in different places. Just I love how it turned out. Um, and I took, I think it was Vintage Photo, Tim Holtz Vintage Photo Distress Ink. That's like my favorite color. Um, so I use a lot of that. Um, then these are just little printouts. Um, they were scans from old music, old ledgers, um, some dating back to 1897, some in the 1960s. Um, and I just printed it out on my um, laser jet printer and then I ended up just kind of doing some different things with it. Um, so I, I kind of stained it a little bit and then the ink was not supposed to bleed through, or at least that's what I was told on a laser jet printer, but I don't know. It didn't really work. So what I ended up doing to kind of cover it up, and I like the way it turned out. It turned out very artistic to me. Um, I, I took some paint. This is some acrylic paint, and it's a light buttermilk. I love using this. Um, and I just kind of whitewashed it basically on the paper to cover up the parts where the the stain soaked through from the other side. And then I came along after that dried and I inked around the edges and kind of on top of the paper and the paint as well. So it really has this distressed look and I really like the way that it turned out. Um, and then this is, like I said, Vintage Ledger. Um, I've Right now, until I come up with something different, I've just got it folded and I want to make some kind of a little pocket with it. So that's what I have going on so far. This is a coffee stained piece of paper. These are Tim Holtz stamps. Um, I did this one in, um, I have a color, it's um, terracotta. Terracotta is the color of that stamp. That is my... Um, those are my two favorites. Terracotta, which I don't know who that's made by. I, I think it's it's just some ink that I've had like for years. Um, and then the Tim Holtz Vintage Photo. Those are my favorite. Um, I do like this gray as well. I think it plays off really well with the terracotta color. Um, this is some gray chalk ink. Um, and then I embossed... Uh, bronze, I think that's bronze or copper, embossed this stamp. So, and then I've got just a little light stamp at the bottom here. And then what I'm going to do with this is to sew a pocket. Now I took this, it's like a, it's muslin um, material. And I stained it. And then after it dried, I stamped this image. This is a Blue Fern Studio stamp. And um, and I stamped this, and then I embossed it. And I thought that was so cool. I had never done that before. And I really like the way it came out and the texture and everything. It's so neat. Um, so I really like how it turned out. And what I'm going to do, I've picked out some 
some trim here and I'm just going to sew that along the top and then I'll sew the pocket into the page as well. Um, and then here's some just some little pieces of paper, little short pieces of paper um, that I've put in and any of this stuff like I said is scans from you know old dictionaries and encyclopedias and music sheets. Um, I stamp embossed this. I stamped it and then embossed it a, a gold color. And then this is white embossed, real pretty. And the stamps that I used, they were either Prima or Tim Holtz or um, Blue Fern Studios. A couple of them, um, as we go through, they were. Um, they're like some 1980s stamps that I had. They may have come from Hobby Lobby or a stamp store. Um, one of my aunts gave them to me because me and her were, were real crafty. And she had given them to me actually a long time ago. I think I was a kid when she gave them to me. And I've, I've kept them ever since. Um, so this is a neat page. This is a Prima stamp. Uh, well, actually it's a Finnebear stamp. It's one of the newer Finnebear stamps. Uh, I forget what it's called. Messy or Scribbles or something. Um, so I just kind of stamped that and then I took some Prima and Tim Holtz butterfly stamps. Stamped that down. And then I love that cute little typewriter. Um, and then just a little thing here. And I think what I'm going to do is sew this down here and use that as a tuck spot in case you wanted to tuck something in. I'm, I'm not 100% so just kind of going through with you what I'm tossing around here. Um, I got an idea for this. I had some leftover muslin fabric stained and I thought you know I think I'm going to make some kind of like a little fabric pocket. So what I'm thinking of, I'm thinking of sewing on this little crocheted lace and I don't really know where I'm going to put it at. Um, I don't know if I'm going to just tuck it in here or sew it in. I haven't decided that yet. But I'm going to sew this on here. And then it's going to open up like this. Maybe. I'm not 100% on it. I'm just kind of giving you what's going on in my brain. <laughs> so um, I'm either going to open it up all the way. Or I'm just going to have it sewed and do a tuck here. And I may just have it sewed. Oh, I think what I was thinking is I'm just going to sew this part. Have it here. You can put something in it. And then I'm going to sew it here and here to the paper. And then you can tuck something else in. I think that's what I thought. I came up with this idea a couple of weeks ago. And then that was the last that I worked on this book. Um, this is one of those vintage rose stamps. It's like a 1984, I think. So, and I just gold embossed that. Here's some of the misty rose paper. I put this in here. I uh, I love it. It didn't have like too much color, and I like the newspaper writing of it. Now this one, of course, is more pop of color. I thought that would be okay. Um, you know, just get a little bit of pop of color every now and then. And then I've got a little, little pocket here. Put some stuff in it. And then more stamping. And I'm going to do something with this. And then some more stamping. And then I sewed this on here. I thought it can make a little tuck spot just to put something on there. And that's on, you know, both sides of the paper. Haven't done anything with these sheets yet. No stamping yet. So... I'll definitely be working on that. Yeah, these are all blank. And then you go through the rest of it. And it's just kind of a repeat of what's on the other side. I may have made some different changes. And I'll do some other things as I, you know, get further along in the book. I thought what I would try to do is finish the cover. Get that done. And then go from each page and finish each page. Um, maybe that would help me to have more of a clear concise idea of what I'm going you know to do with the book but um, I just wanted to touch base with y'all and um, you know since it had been a while let you know what's going on and 
you know what I'm working on I want to finish this book and then the next book that I'm going to be working on is um, my sister's pregnant and so I want to make her a journal for each month of her pregnancy that she can put um, you know um, you know pictures in of you know I had her to take a picture of her each month that she was pregnant and so I want to print those out and you know put them there leave a little room for journaling you know um, have a have a little pocket where she can put her the DVD of the sonogram in it and you know just different things like that so I'm gonna finish this I'm almost done I'm hoping I can wrap it up and then I'm going to work on that. So I'm going to be showing y'all the videos of the of the process. Here I'll probably have another video of two of this book. Um, and uh, like I said, if you have any questions, feel free. I know I have a couple of videos out on how to make junk journals. And I know there's a ton of other YouTubers that have videos showing you know how they made their junk journals. But if you have any questions, please let me know any suggestions um, that that you have to make this book even um, you know even better more beautiful I'm open to it uh, we're all we're all here together just crafting away trying to find some time to um, you know just to break away from the rat race basically <laughs> that's what I'm trying to do so but um but anyway that's about it for now thank you so much for watching and i hope you have a great day bye